It's an Armadillo, text and photographs by Bianca Lavies. What has left these tracks in the sand? Something with four feet and a tail. You can see its footprints. You can see the groove made by its tail. Where did it go? Into its burrow underground. The burrow keeps it cool in summer and warm in winter. During the day, it sleeps there in a nest. In the evening, it will leave the burrow. Here it comes. It's an armadillo. There are several kinds of armadillos in the world. This one is called a nine-banded armadillo. The bands look like stripes around her middle. With her nose and claws, the armadillo roots up leaves and twigs. She is searching for food, beetles, grubs, and ant eggs. Sometimes she also eats berries or juicy roots. Every now and then, the armadillo sits up on her hind legs and listens. She cannot see very well, but she can hear the sounds around her, a leaf rustling, a twig breaking, even a camera clicking. She also stops to sniff the air. Her keen sense of smell makes up for her poor eyesight. She can follow the trail of a cricket just by sniffing. Now she smells fire ants. The armadillo starts to dig. Her long claws make her an expert digger. Then she sniffs the hole she has dug, searching for ant eggs. Ants walk along her nose. They try to bite her, but they cannot pierce her tough, leathery covering. This covering is called a carapace, and it protects her body like armor. Armadillo is a Spanish word meaning little armored one. But the armadillo does have some soft spots the skin on her belly, the skin between her bands, and the tip of her nose, for instance. The armadillo's long, sticky tongue flicks in and out, in and out, lapping up the food she finds. She has small, stubby teeth, but she doesn't use them for chewing or biting or much of anything. Soon, she ambles on, searching for more food. She goes into dense, scrubby areas where her carapace lets her slip through tangles and prickles. Her bands allow her to bend and turn with ease. After a while, she wanders too close to a road. Suddenly, there is a flash of headlights. What does the armadillo do? She jumps! That's what armadillos do when they are startled. Then they run like crazy. This armadillo is lucky. The car does not hit her. She comes to a small river. To cross it, she can hold her breath, sink, and walk along the plants on the bottom. Or she can gulp lots of air into her stomach, float, and paddle along like a ball with feet. Sometimes armadillos float on logs. People say they may have crossed the big Mississippi River this way. Nine-banded armadillos live in the southern United States and all through Central and South America. Now the armadillo looks very fat. Can you guess why? Eight months ago she mated with a male armadillo. Soon she will have babies. To make her nest cozy for them, she collects grass and leaves. She holds the grass and leaves in a bundle between her front and hind legs. Then she hops backwards. As she hops, her tail guides her into the burrow. She does this many times until her nest is just right. In the nest, she gives birth to four baby armadillos, or pups. Each pup is exactly the same as the others. They are identical quadruplets. 
The pups nurse many times a day. Their mother's milk helps them grow. Armadillos are mammals. Mammals have hair or fur, and mammal mothers feed their young with milk from their own bodies. The pups are lively right from birth. Their eyes are open and they crawl all over their mother and one another. Their mother takes good care of them. She leaves her burrow less often now. At first, the pup's armor is soft, smooth, and shiny. It feels a little like wax. The armor will become tougher as the pups grow. In a few months, they will be big enough and strong enough to go out on their own. Until then, they stay inside the burrow, drink their mother's milk, and play. They sniff one another and crawl all over each other until... They are all tired out. Then they snuggle up together and close their eyes. They are ready for a good nap. Sleep tight. The end.